All right, I'm going to make another video here real quick on the on another update on the Catholic child abuse thing. Did the Baptists yesterday, so I'll do the Catholics today. Um, here, as far as reporting on them, and uh, again, you know, another one. It just within Catholicism, I think you're crazy if you go to a Catholic church and have your children involved there. I mean, you're just playing with fire. It's insanity. But uh, here you have the French French cardinal to stand trial in sex abuse cover-up case. So here's the whole way to the top. Of course, you had uh, Ratzinger, you know, Pope Benedict. There, um, he was, you know, covering up a lot of the child molestation and pedophilia and everything else. So it's it's goes to the very top of the Vatican. It's disgusting. They are a, the biggest child molesting cult out there. And the reason that you see Protestants doing the same thing is because they're Catholics, basically. Um, but so here's an article on it, uh, the Associated Press there, you know, and, and things. If you want to read that, you can just, you know, look it up. But this is a very interesting website. I've been wanting to share this thing for a while. Um, somebody sent this to me a while back, and I just I haven't had a chance to make a video on this yet. But if you want to see if there's Catholic priests and things in your area, bishops and whatnot, that are child molesters, you can actually do a map search here on this website, this bishopaccountability.org. Go down here, click on the uh, map, and I'll just do the state of Maine here. Um, yeah, where are we at? There we go. Maine. Diocese of Portland. And here's what it comes up with. Let me zoom in a little bit here so we can read this better. Um, the database of publicly accused priests does not state or imply that individuals facing allegations are guilty of a crime or liable for civil claims. The reports contained in the database are merely allegations. The U.S. legal system presumes that a person accused of or, of or charged with a crime is innocent until proven guil guilty. Similarly, Individuals who may be defendants in civil actions are presumed not to be liable for such claims unless a plaintiff pr proves otherwise. Admissions of guilt or liability are not typically a part of civil or private settlements. For more information, see our posting policy. So they're they're saying these guys have been accused, uh, but you know, not necessarily have been proven in court. And of course, that's problematic as well because a lot of times these guys get accused and then they they skip out of the thing and they get relocated to other places and whatever. The Catholic Church is famous for doing that. But here you have a, a sister here, a woman, um, you know, accused in 2005 report of sexually abusing a, an eight or nine year old boy in 1948 or 1949. You know, um, so, you know, sick, disgusting stuff there. I'm not going to read all that, but uh, priest, you know, going down through here, you know, it's going way back. We're talking 19, there's what, 1947, 1915, 1920. So this thing is not some kind of a new thing. 1947, 1930s, all just in the state of Maine. So, you know, you get down through there, it's just in, in insane. But I'm not going to read all of them, but you can check this out. But 49 individuals just in Portland, you know, down in southern Maine, you know, I mean, it's insane. And you can go to any state, you know, uh, Illinois has a whole bunch of different dioceses there and archdiocese and whatever else. And you go into some of these places and, and whatever. We'll just go to the archdiocese of Chicago and see how many they have. 144 individuals. <laughs> I mean, it's insane. I mean, I'm sure if there's places, you know, I'm sure New York has probably got quite a few. Let's see if we can find that quick. Archdiocese of New York, 84, so not as many as Chicago. Um, probably Nebraska would probably have quite a few. Archdiocese of Omaha, only 12. That's kind of interesting because you had the whole Boys Town America thing out there, the Franklin scandal, credit union scandal. Um, but, you know, just sickening the uh, amount of child abuse that goes on within the Roman Catholic Church and Protestant churches as well. Uh, that's why I tell people that, you know, the, the whole church building thing is just so unscriptural. 
and in, incredibly dangerous to be part of. So um, if you're part of that whole system, get out of it. Don't get your, I mean, keep your children as far away from church buildings as you can uh, organize religion. Just stay away from it. All right.